This is Monday afternoon, March 25th, 2024. My father, Carl Castine, would be 102 years old today if he were still around. So happy birthday, Dad. We're at Northeastern Clinton, and you can see that the white stuff is snow that came uh, two days ago on Saturday. This is, a, this is, as I said, a Monday. And we're here for a scrimmage, an early season scrimmage in football. Northeastern Clinton being visited by the Northern Adirondack Bobcats. Bobcats are here without any numbers on, so <laughs> emailed Jim Knight, the superintendent, asked him for the lineup because uh, we didn't have them uh, on, online. I got the Cougars online. So he sent me a lineup, but with no numbers. So I emailed him back, and he said, uh, uniform jerseys aren't in yet, so they're going to be playing here in a scrimmage with, uh, with no numbers. It's uh, 25 minutes on the clock. A whole lot of that is, is running time. They'll, they'll take some time off on occasion here when they switch possessions and uh, somebody happens to score. Uh, for the Cougars, coached by... Uh, Kristen Patnode, assisted by um, Adam Cater and uh, Michael Boyer. We have Bailey LaFountain 11, Carly Superna, excuse me, Bailey LaFountain 10, Carly Superna 11. Caitlin Johnston is 12, and it looks like the visitors are going to start it off. Here we go. <laughs> it's flag football, so I just grab that flag, and that's a tackle. Oh, Caitlin Johnson, 12. Lacey Roberts is uh, 13. Lexi Roberts, 14. Quinn Jolliker, 15. Lillian Adishak is 16. <laughs> and, and the clock has just started. Oh, my goodness. Good thing this is a scrimmage here. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd be taking the timer away. And Lillian, Lillian Adishak, uh, 16. Krista Siebert, 17. Caitlin Underwood, 18. Maddie Arno is 19. Here's a second play. It, they only use uh, about 40 yards wide, so they're not going any further than that little snowbank right there. Let's see, Ella LaFountain is 20, Cassidy DeRocha is 21, Kirsten Stahl 22, Desiree Dubois 23, Bryn Height 24, Emma Gay 25, Ashlyn Francis 26, Akisha Bouye is 27, and Skylar Agony is 29. The clock is ticking. And it's third down, and they've got a whole bunch of yards to go up all the way up to here. So that is uh, quite an adventurous. Uh, if we uh, if we uh, hear some noise in the background, uh, don't pay attention to it. For uh, Noah Boas, uh, Bobcats, he's got 11 players here. We have 17 on the roster that uh, was sent to us. Uh, Phoebe Barrett, Jacqueline Calville, Cavillo, uh, Kendall Chapel, uh, Isabella Hayes, Samantha Gilmore, Haven Hazelton, Alice Dupree, Emily Hatch. And this is fourth down. They're going to punt, I am sure. Nope, nope, what are they going to do? <laughs> They're going to lose. Give the Cougars a very <laughs> close place to get their, their first down. So let's see, uh, we got Emily Hatch, and we go to Ava Moore, Mackenzie Mason, Sierra McDonald, Mandy McKinney, Reese Lafave, Harmony Pay, Molly Perrier, Melanie Rushford, and Krista Schoonmaker. But again, they have no numbers, so I can't tell you who's doing what out there. All right, it looks like uh, Underwood is like Underwood is going to be the center here, and La Fountain is the. Oops, <laughs> it's a scrimmage, so the coach is out there. He's uh, apparently how to play. There we go. And 
Cardinals going to score. Okay. One nothing. Well, not one. <laughs> that should be six nothing. It uh, looks like uh, looks like they they have distance uh, distances as far as uh, going for the extra point. Incomplete. So they'll settle for a six right now. Well, it's a scrimmage, so they may not be paying too much attention to the to the score. So the refs are learning, uh, some of these refs are learning. So for a scrimmage, they're donating their time, so as a learning experience. Bobcats have it. And where's the flag, where's the flag? Okay, they have to get uh, 20 yards for a first down, and I think the midway point here is the uh, the 20 yards, so. And she loses a couple yards, so it's now going to be third down. And you may notice there's not 11 players on the field. I think they put seven. I think they put seven against seven or eight. Or eight. Let's see, four, five, six. I think there's seven out there right now. Third down. Oops. Two handed pass. And it's, Broken up, so it's going to be fourth down and incomplete. We had an overnight low at my house of 16 degrees, but it's in the low 40s as we start this game. So it's uh, third, a uh, fourth in uh, them yards right there. Let's see if they can do it. They're going to run it, and she got it. By golly, she got it. Okay, so they've got to get uh, 20 yards on the next one, so uh, they only got 16 left, even though it's the first down. So they lost a few yards. It'll be second and 20 for the Bobcats. Well, the field is about 80 yards long that they use. And flag. So I got a flag. Completion uh, for the Bobcats. Pick up. So that was Supernaw making the flaggle, not a tackle. <laughs> she grabbed the flag, so we'll call it a flaggle. Fourth and whatever here, 20 yards a yard, about to, over 10 away, I guess. Oh, grab the flag. Oh, well, she goes right there. And follow the line over here. Valley and run comes up just short. Uh, uh, short. Take over right That's now. about five yards short. Oh, yeah. So it's first and about 17 for the Cougars. Doesn't matter where the ball is, they have to get either 20, 40, or end line, or midfield, whatever. So. All right, second down, and you got to get to midfield, so about between eight and nine yards. The fountain looking for a target, and she's going deep. Oh, oh, interference on the coach. Extra bobcat on the field. Boo. Extra bobcat on the field. Oh, my gosh. As we said, this is their first scrimmage, so Coach Bowles is on the field, and it's, again, it's a scrimmage, not a game. During the games, he won't be on the field. So <laughs> they're going to replay it. No, they went to third down. They went to third down. They're not going to replay it. Oh, my. Incomplete. Right, Underwood will snap it. Looks like they're going to punt. 
nope, 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 nope. And she's got a first down and she is flaggled right the about there. Got the first down. So just a little under 10 here to go for the next uh, first down. So this is first down and just under 10. 11.30 on the clock. Hand it off to Arno and there's the flag. Here you drop this, she says. Second and five with 10.50 on the clock. Snap back to the fountain. Whoa. And 13 is Roberts. Mickey Roberts Let's see with Roberts. the uh, reception. That'll bring up uh, first and goal. And while I'm thinking of it, I want to apologize to all the basketball seniors for not being alerted to the senior basketball game, so we did not cover it. Nobody at any of the schools bothered to let us know. We're going to call it lucky number 13. Nobody let First us know about the senior 13. basketball game, so we did not cover it. So <laughs> we were free that Tuesday evening, but nobody told us. Incomplete. So Roberts is the center. I thought it was at 18, not 13. So I've been saying Underwood, but maybe I was looking at the number wrong. And I guess it was Bouye making that catch from the fountain. Incomplete. Uh, obviously, we just uh, here over five yards to go. They're going to uh, go for it. No punting here. Complete. To Dubois. Well, to Dubois. Touchdown down to Desi Dubois. <laughs> so it looks like they're going for a 10 yard conversion here, which would be a two pointer. 20 yards is three. and. I think five or three yards is for the one point conversion. So the is short. No good. And apparently the center is uh, can also be a receiver. Now each of those shades is a five yards, so they yeah. Start their play at the 20 yard line and they have to get to uh, midfield. So, that was super now. Oh, Underwood, Underwood. So, a loss of about a couple of yards. And Lovecats will try at 5.30. And first, whoa. Look at that, look at that, and the flag. I'm thinking it's Dubois who made it, the, the flag hold, the tackle. Third down. And first down. Nice run by the quarterback to uh, pick up the first down. Looks like it was Jolliker, maybe, who made that grab. Oh, maybe not. Jolliker's been out there. And we'll McGay. see where they uh, clean the snow away here. And McGay, we're hearing. And we'll go with first and 15. So that was 25 and not 15 who made the tackle. It was the first down and... Loss of a couple nice, of yards. Uh, snag there by Lacey. Roberts making the grab. Loss. Awesome. All right, this is uh, 
Second down. Where's the ball? There we go. Right there. We'll follow the dark line over here. And, uh, he spins away to the first down. First down. First and just about uh, 20. First and goal. Well, in the final two minutes, the clock was, keeps running. It uh, stopped, I should say, and it no longer keeps running. So that only took seven seconds off our minute fif 57. Quick. That was Underwood making the tackle. Underwood. The fourth and goal about the 15, I think. Incomplete. So, Cougar ball, even though it's the first down, they're only about two and a half yards from the 20 yard line, and that's all they need to get to to get a first down. Deep for Dubois, makes it, and she is tackled. The quick sea flag by the Bobcats after the long completion by Desi. First and ten with about ten seconds to go. They're going to run out of time if they don't snap the ball pretty soon here. Three seconds, and yeah, they do it just before the horn. And here's the play. It's going to be a touchdown. A touchdown to end the first period. LaFountain to Dubois for the touchdown. LaFountain to Dubois. Sounds like a basketball game, doesn't it? As you can see, they don't put the score up there because it's a scrimmage. So right now it would be 18. We'll see about the point after here. One-point conversion. Looking for a one-point conversion here. They've gone for the two-point conversion and the three-point conversion. Now they're going for a one-point conversion. Got a, oh, she had really a room to run it. So that's going to end the first half, and unofficially, because it's a Dubois scrimmage, 18 nothing in Cougars. The extra one point, and that'll be the end of the half. Before we go any further, I have to point out I was wrong. The point after was good, so it's uh, it was extra point in that last one, so it's 19 to nothing. Quickly give you the lineup for the Bobcats: Phoebe Barrett, Jacqueline Calvillo, Cavillo. Kendall Chapel, Isabella Hayes, Samantha Gilmore, Haven Hazelton, Alice Dupree, Emily Hatch, Ava Moore, Mackenzie Mason, Sierra McDonald, Mandy McKinney, Reese Lefave, Harmony Pay, Molly Perrier, Melanie Rushford, Krista Schoonmaker, Coach Noah Bowles. The Bobcats uniforms aren't in yet, so they don't have any numbers for this scrimmage. The Cougars do. They're coached by uh, uh, Kristen Patnode, assisted by Adam Cater and Michael, Michael Boye. Bailey LaFountain, 10. Kylie Supernaut, 11. Caitlin Johnston, 12. Lacey Roberts, 13. Lexi Roberts, 14. Quinn Jolliker, 15. Lily and Adishak, 16. Krista Siebert, 17. Eight. Caitlin Underwood, 18. Maddie Arnold, 19. Ella LaFountain, 20. Cassidy DeRocha is 21, Kirsten Stahl 22, Desiree Dubois 23, Bryn Height 24, Emma Gay 25, Ashlyn Francis 26, Akisha Bouye 27, and Skylar Agony is number 29. And as we pointed out earlier, only seven players on the field, not your 11 on 11, it's seven on seven. And uh, first downs are 20 yards and they're pre-designated, so they Getting to the 20-yard line, no matter where you start, is where what you got to get to, and then the 40, and so on. So here's the snap, and she's going to pick up some yards. I know. Okay, now we'll have a 
about uh, second and about two and a half to three yards. There we go. Cougars have a first down. And she is tackled. So it'll be first in about uh, 17. And Roberts will uh, do the snap. That was uh, Siebert who tossed it to back to La Fountain for that one, that last one. All right. Oh, oh, look at that. And there's the tackle. Cougar second down, just under five to go. Incomplete. All right. The third down. Might be Underwood now. Snapping it. Dubois. The fountain to Dubois picks up the first yeah. down. <laughs> All right, first and goal. Yeah, as we said, we can't give you the. Uh, I don't know. What? Just. Was it across the line or does it. Hand off to Arno. Was it good? Touchdown Cougars. And grabbed the flag, but just after she crossed the touchdown in line. So, uh, again, we don't have Bobcat uh, numbers, so they don't have numbers, so they can't tell you who's out there by the number. <clears throat> Looks like they're going for a three point conversion. And it's going to be good to Arno, the fountain to Arno. So, what, flag on the play or what? Right back. back. So, it'll be some Bobcat ball. So, even though they got a penalty, it's an incomplete uh, Three point conversion. Bobcat ball. Well, Roberts and Johnston both uh, in the area. About a six yard pickup for the Cats. 1947 remaining. Whoops, picked the ball up. <laughs> Making sure everybody's flags are secure, I guess. There we go. Here comes the snap. Intercepted. Inadvertent whistle. Took a touchdown away from the Cougars. <laughs> so we're back. Uh, if you're going to have an inadvertent whistle, a game where it's one sided like this is as good a time as any. And a scrimmage. It's not even a game either. It's a scrimmage. It's just under 18 to go in the second half. The fountain looking for target. Got to watch that line of scrimmage. I just, I just well, almost. <laughs> almost. Now, <laughs> 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 well, the fountain said, uh, oops. <laughs> you got to die for those, kid. Die for those. Make sure you catch it. All right, second down in about 15, I guess. Roberts will snap it to the fountain. Back to Roberts. And there's the flag. Oh, there's the flag. 
There's the fly. No. no. Picked up a few extras. Lacey Roberts spins her way to a first down. All right, first down. Yeah. About the 19. Flies or not? <laughs> I didn't see no flag. <laughs> oh, as we said, the refs are here learning too. So, <laughs> so we're gonna call it second and goal, and the goal looks around the 12 here. Play broken up by the Bobcats and complete. That'll bring up third down. Third. Nope, I was checking out the refs and they're snapping the ball. And the Cougars get the touchdown. The Fountain makes it. Uh, and realize they've made their way back onto the field. So the Cougars get their. The Fountain stopped short. Oh no, she's short. She's raising the ball as if she'd made a. That'll bring up a goal, but she's still a few sh yards short here. Like me, a few yards short of a touchdown. Okay, five yard line, third goal, third, third uh, down. Third down, 13 minutes to go. Incomplete. Intended for agony. That's fourth and goal right around the five yard line. Bobcats of Northern Adirondack and the Cougars of Northeastern Clinton. March 25th, 2024. Preseason scrimmage. Oh! Blame that on the paper. Oh, a dislocated finger. She dislocated her finger. Well, the Cats take over. First and about 15. First and 15 for the Bobcats. 11.40 on the clock. No. Okay, keep going. Why stop? <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> that's why Johnston had to Pick up about five. It'll be second. So about five or six yards for a first down. <laughs> Super nice. Hey, you dropped this. <laughs> It'll be first and 19 for the Bobcats. First and 19. Here 10.09 on the clock. Ooh, completed. How oh, about that? There's the flag. Bobcat reception. Pick up of about uh, and again, 12. making the tackle. It'll be second and eight. Little people in Florida see how she's doing. Second and about nine, I'd say. Nine twenty-one on the clock. Yeah, let's whistle. Oh, I'm out of bounds, I guess. No. Oh. Nope. Flagged by Lexi, Lexi Roberts. Roberts for the stop just before midfield. Third down, about three with eight thirty-two on the clock. First down. Grabbed by Johnston, but it's the first down. It'll be first and 20. Seven thirty-eight. 38. And a flag. 
Oh, yep, there we go. Right there. New ball. Nice run play. Quarterback picks up uh, about nine yards on that one. That'll be second and 11. Don't start. So they lose five yards and we go to six and a half to go in the game. And Lexi Roberts. Third and twelve for the Bobcats. Whoop. Okay, a double forward pass there. Should have been a lateral if you want to, down for that penalty. Want want to pass it again. So, fourth down. There's a lateral. And there's a flag. Gay says, look what I found. So it'll be first down and about 17 for the Cougars here at 5.05. Uh, who we got here? Krista Siebert in for quarterback. We have second and seven for the Cougars with 4.50 on the clock. And Dubois makes the catch and she's going to go all the way. Touchdown Cougars. Nice throw by Krista and Desi's off to the races. Six points for the Cougars. Cougars looking for a one point conversion. Complete. Conversion is good. It will be first and 20 for the Bobcats. Uh, 439 on the clock. Not sure about the Bobcats, but I know 811 of the Cougars are also on the softball team. So. The Cougars do all the multi sports. It'll be first and 20. Francis. Ashlyn Francis checking in the game with a diving grab. So third down and just under 15. And tackle by 29 Agony. So just a little over two left in the game. 12 yards here in the third down and caught. And look at that, we have the first down. Right. First in about uh, 17 here. And tackled. Another completion for the Bobcat. We're supposed to say Ava's. That might have been more who got it. And 
13 yards to a first down. There's a snap. Ooh, toss back and incomplete. So third and about 13. And tackle by 22, it's a stall. Fourth and six with a clock ticking down to 37 right now. And the tackle is uh, Agony making the tackle. They were calling Molly. That might be pretty. They had the ball. 18 seconds to go. Will there be time for another play? What are they doing? Seven. That was fourth down. So change of possessions. So I'll let them play one last play here with two seconds to go. So they'll play, do a play. This will be the final play of the game. Final play. And they down it. <laughs> so a victory for the Cougars in this scrimmage. Not a game. Uh, I got maybe 32 or so to nothing. But the Bobcats had their first experience in a game type situation. The Cougars had their second season of girls football. And that's the way it was on this March 25th, 2024. You're watching viewer supported local television, hometown cable from beautiful downtown Champlain.